how much did you circle this opportunity for you going into an offense like Colorado's? Uh, it was a team sport, secondary. Uh, you know, they were really a passing team, so we had to get our head straight during the week. Um, and just by the names of it, we don't care who we play. We're just ready to play anybody. So. Take us through the uh, pick six. Uh, oh. What were you expecting? What, I mean, just where do you see from your vantage point on that one? Uh, after pinning the punt on the two-yard line, it just all the momentum uh, just came to me, uh, having Nash in the middle. Um, having JB, uh, we just hyped each other up, and I called it out before we went to the game. I said it was going to be a pick six for me today, so, and I got it, and I'm grateful for it. Do you have that feeling every game, or was there just something special about coming into this one? I had that every game, but I just didn't really like Colorado, so it just came more of being more competitive today. Any additional satisfaction that, uh, Travis Hunter won't be the quarterback talked about tonight. Uh, I already knew if he's going against me, he's going to face a dog. So I don't care what his name was. He just knew he was going to get the best out of me. So. He got chippy a little bit in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. what, what did you guys say to each other in that little exchange where he was kind of on your sideline talking on the sideline? Uh, I told him it was going to be a rough game for you. Uh, <laughs> told him it ain't nothing going to be easy for you. And he was like, uh, Oh, you trash and brush trash. I was like, okay, I'm gonna show you. And he just got, I got it in his head in the first and second quarter. So, third quarter, he wasn't talking to me at all. Maybe it's nothing because you guys, I know, run down there and sometimes you pray at that one end line. But it seemed like a lot of guys lingered while Colorado came out today. Was, were, did you want to set a tone early on with, with that or was, was there anything you had? No, we've been wanting to set the tone uh, as a team, just not being disrespectful but respectful when until they go past um we still had to pray for ourselves and for the team uh, for the family and stuff um it just it wasn't really no thing until the kickoff so we were just ready after that what's going through your head for some of those first colorado drives when it's third and long and the stadium is just roaring what can you talk about that atmosphere tonight uh we had to go to the sideline and have hand suggestions, so we couldn't hear nothing. <laughs> so we had to make up some more things to uh, get more communication across the board, and it worked perfectly fine. Coach Little said Bud Crawford talked to the team and got a game ball. How did that help? You know, looking at how he fought Spence, I guess you did this week, mm -hmm. just, just what he told you guys. Uh, when he going in the rain, he don't care who his opponent is. Uh, he always stay calm. and. Uh, have counters, and if they make a play, then we're going to have to come back and counter it. And um, he just said, stay calm in the moment. Uh, don't be overhyped. Just do one play at a time, one punch at a time. Yeah, last night, you had, what was your last pick six? In high school, yeah. A little harder than that one tonight. Yeah. I liked it, that one. I jumped it. Appreciate it.